Hi everyone, in this video we will integrate the Firebase database in Unity. After this video, you should check out this videos on my channel. Let's start. First of all, we are going to open Firebase console from console.firebase.google.com. After that, click create a project and type your project name. This part is about analytics, but we won't be using it for now. Then click create project button. As you can see, we created our project on Firebase. Then we have to open the project settings. In this part, we will add our Unity app. Enter your package name and application name, then click register app button. Click next and go back to the project settings page. From here, we will download the Google Services JSON file. After the file is downloaded, drag the file into your project. Then go back to the console, in here expand the build section and click on the real-time database. Then click create database button. In this part you can choose your location of database and security rules. In security rules choose start in locked mode and click enable button. So in the real tab we'll have some change. In order to read and write the data we need to make the read and write part true. Just dismiss that warning. So, the next step is downloading of the Firebase Database SDK. You can download it from this website. This file contains all Firebase packages but we only need database. Then import this file into your project. Now we are ready to start. First, I create a script and name it Database Manager and I add this script to my scene. Then I get DB reference code which is on the website and import the libraries. After that we need to create user class. If you want, you can get the sample on the website. So we'll have two variables, they are name and gold. After we create a constructor and define the parameters. Then go back to the DB manager class and create a method called create user. After that, define a user ID variable and set the user ID to systeminfo.device unique identifier. This command will give you a unique ID. Then I define the input fields on the screen. After that, create a new user and put your input field text in it. Then define a JSON variable to turn new user to JSON format. Then type db reference dot child user dot child user id dot set raw json value async. After that, drag your files to their places and call create user method from your save button. So let's test it. As you can see, the user's table has been created and the user information has been saved under a unique ID. The next step is to fetch the data we have saved. For this, create IA numerator get name method and it will take action parameter. Then create a username data and get data from db reference like in the sample. After that we input yield return new wait until username data dot is completed. Then create a snapshot object and invoke the snapshot value. That's it. We'll follow the same path to get other data. Create a get gold method with action int parameter. Then copy and paste the codes we just wrote. And make minor changes in this part. After that, we'll call this methods from another function because we need to call that from button. Then create the gold and name texts. After all, 
call these methods with start coroutine and set texts. Then drag your texts to their places and call your method from your get button. We got an error. Let's fix it. Change uppercase U to lowercase U in user section. And parse golds invoke like this. Let's try again. As you can see, the data has been fetched. So after that, we add a new button to update our data. Then create a update name method and use dbreferenceChildUsers.childUserID.ChildName.setValueAsync and set your name input field in it. And likewise, create method for gold, then copy and paste from the name part and change the part as needed. After that, assign the methods to the update button we created. So let's test it. As you can see, the data is updated without any problems. So we are done. It's easy, isn't it? If you like this video, please subscribe my channel, also leave a comment. See you in the next video.